gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the Gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Orin, I'd never heard tell of, but Gortash I know, or know of more precisely, a self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? Then you know loyalty, and you know what I did had to be done. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. to conjure the Dragon Queen and lay waste to Baldur's Gate. A ten day after Father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. I'll paint the clearest picture I can. Below the mount, I saw five totems with dragon heads carved on top. Each head held a massive orb in its jaws. Around each totem, five robed figures were chanting. First softly, then loud as a banshee's wail. There was a crack of thunder and a gust of wind. A storm descended, and one of Tiamat's five heads appeared from within it. That's when I felt Mazora's lips against my ear and heard that same canny whisper. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul, and I will give you the power to save it. She read the terms while two devils stood witness, and I said yes. One soul for one city. She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zarya. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound and my lips were sealed. It is the one scar I ever bore of it. You were right, of course. The new eye is a sending stone, courtesy of Mazora. She uses it to track my location and call from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world, or the depths of the lower dark, and still never shake her. 
I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word, go. So I did. I understand. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst. And Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. My favorite subject. Surely. I would have words. The shadows are losing their grip on these lands. Shark can indeed be thwarted. You wanted something? Nathaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday, see Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person, if the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. I have. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. Not what, who, but all in due course. Thy hunger denied. Saluna's faithful yet shines. The balance shifts. Thou hast seen with thine own eyes and felt in thine urges. The dead three unite. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, O oh, tempted one? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. Nothing thou dost not already know. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The planes thus quake, and the gods very well.
enemies spread like an elder brain bound by l reminds me of old times aren't you you came here in search of a cure but found a but take courage we have killed a man who you have a nether stone and you're on the scent of two these chosen have reason to fear you and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. Of course. Falling foul of Catherick convinced me that's my grand adventure. But you convinced me other... We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little... When we reach Baldur's Gates, there will be even darker paths to tread. How does it compare to a shadow cursed inn? With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Bald. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentholan's Dancing Axe. Beyond that, our course is yours to... I will never tire of sitting on dead men's thrones. Indeed. And now we know that he was not acting alone. During my time in the cult, I came to know one of his co-conspirators all too well. Baal's blood letter. Orin. To think, I thought her to be speaking for the Absolute. I worshipped that woman. Jealous? You needn't be. When Orin is in my hands, her agony will nourish me. She is the Iblis who indoctrinated me with the Absolute's lies. When I first visited Moonrise, I stood before the Absolute in awe. It was more of an idea than an entity. Pure love. Total power. Oren was by my side. She told me that God had chosen me to be a true soul. Blessed and adored. Now I know that those memories are lies. There was no God. Oren held me down in a cocoon of flesh, while a mind flayer forced a parasite into my brain. And she laughed at my fear. I will find her. I will murder her. And I will smile. Let them think that. There is a short path from savior to ruler. A short and bloody path. I know it well, and we will walk it together. But Baldur's Gate is a mere bauble. We have the chance to see something much greater. Surely you see it. In killing Catherick, we fractured the cult's leadership. When we break the other Chosen and claim their Netherstones, we can take control. <laughs> I would have thought this entire conspiracy of gods and monsters to be impossible if I had not seen it for myself. We may fail, but we must try. The power of the enslaved Elder Brain could reshape the world. We could reshape the world. There is violence in your future, regardless. With me, you can at least be sure the violence will lead to glory. You are not stupid. When we reach Baldur's Gate and face the other Chosen, you will see that my way is the right one. 
That is all I ask. And remember, I know when your mind is closed. We are bound, then, to travel together, even if we do not yet agree on our ultimate purpose. There is yet one thing about you that troubles me, though. Something I need you to explain. Why come to Moonrise, where the cult's power is strongest? Why not walk away? A wise ploy, and it was successful to an extent. We did not find a cure, but we found our purpose. I am satisfied. Now, I am ready to leave this damned place whenever you give the word. The city awaits! There'll be plenty of dead to mourn when the... Ketherick's done. When Duke Elton formed, you saved them. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. Of course, I have no idea, but I've seen the respect he inspired. I hope you can save Duke Ravengard for the good of Baldur's Gate. <sighs> Thank you. But look at me. Besides, Nathaniel should have someone here when he wakes up. It's the least I can do. I don't think there will be an hour. The truth is, the shadow fell, but because... My mom lives in the lower city. Aelin! Isabel! your body I'm here and and so are you and my father he he can't hurt us any longer I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me that somehow it was all a nightmare dawn would undo I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Ah, oh, there you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? I am. And I'm glad he's dead. But this is precisely what I want to speak to you about later. It'll keep. I promise. Very good. We look forward to it. Now, you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. Just tell me what you need. To the left. There you are. I was wondering where the devil you'd been. That sounds... slimy. Never mind your distasteful predilect... Oh, forget about that. 
Walprin and the Iron Hand Gnomes are planning something. They have room powder, they have motive. We have to stop them. With the sword of justice in one hand and the shield of self right to saving the city. And my fool of. Feel that. Go home, Marcus. Gone. I must admire Isabel's. F Sorry. You'd make a fine. Long. D With Jahira to lead us. Safely onto Bold. didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole! The absolute! How? I was his bodyguard. I looked after him with my life. I trusted him more than anything. He gave me away to Zariel just for kicks! He ruined my life just when it was starting! And now he'll use up the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him! He can't get away with what he's done. To me. To us. He won't get away with it. I can feel it. The engine. It's getting hotter, louder. It's going to blow if we don't find another way to fix it. You know, Zariel may have put the fucking thing in, but Gortash gave her the go-ahead. You expect this shit from devils, but not from the people you care about. Let's get to the city. Got business there I'm highly fucking keen to attend to. I wish we could stay and see what this place will be like without the shadows. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work guarding some indoorsy type. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. Just, it felt like a good fit. I kept him safe and he paid me well. I respected him, trusted him. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in a Vernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed. Said she paid. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. What do you know about me? Almost no one. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shah's... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an... Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar- You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know that your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both. 
bringing you elsewhere. <laughs> It is a common right among Saluna's followers to send their children off into the woods to find their way home. Perhaps this time it had gone awry. It seems that one child never came back. She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. It no longer has the power to harm me, now that I've removed it from Shah's domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough, but I felt it call to me as I took flight and mirrored. Take it. I'll need every advantage, it seems. A debt repaid. <laughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Feel my voice, Moon Maiden Saluna. Hear me, Catherick Thor. My mate, M blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Listen to the subtle vibrations. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Do I not radiate with my- There can be no doubt. I am of her silk. Why, she already hath. So mighty are her wonders, her great. <sighs> Kether. Ketherick Thorm never did trust me. Even when he. When she died. Ke he turned to wretched Shah. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and. But lo, the br. I can't bl And. By killing him, you've set him free. Almost pleasant, traveling with company. So, and here I was, worried I'd be the only one with a difficult family reunion. Shadowheart was no true child. Taken, the truth is finally dawning. Shadowheart can. I would not linger in this land over long. Leave. Thy wit dost thou require a. It does not surprise me that Shadowheart's faith was based on a lie. Deception. You wish to consult me? 
At least Shadowheart is armed with the truth now. May its keen edge draw... There's nothing for you and I to discuss. There's nothing for you and I to discuss. You'll have to confide in someone else. I'm spoken for. There's nothing for you and I to discuss. Looking forward to... Be gone, friend. I have a dark... Looking elsewhere for company. I already have an arrangement. Hmm. What to do? Well met. I've been like... My parents are alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. Indeed. But the truth... We'd better press on for now. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You will see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. All's well, I hope. Aside. 